planned for 100 years, it's taken nearly 10 years to build. Marine engineers say that when the river floods, the bridge will be the safest place. The columns have been built to withstand a major collision. The Danube is a kilometre wide here, even at low water, a formidable barrier on the long route to the rich markets of the European Union. Local businessman Ilya Yordanov owns 70 trucks and 16 Danube barges. Now he's in expansive mood. Until now, there were two road routes between southeastern and western Europe, over the old bridge, 300 kilometers downstream, or up through Serbia and Macedonia. This bridge creates a third route, shorter and cheaper. Time stopped in the city of Vidin when communist-era industry collapsed. Chemicals, furniture and tobacco factories all closed. Now the mayor hopes the bridge will bring new investors. What we need now on both the Romanian and Bulgarian side is discipline. We expect the bridge, the infrastructure and the new trade routes it opens up to put us back on the map. Now we need to make the most of it. There hasn't been a proper bridge across this section of the Danube since the Romans destroyed theirs in the 4th century as their empire fell apart. Bulgaria and Romania have quarrelled for decades about whether and where it should be built. Now European Union funds have made it possible. The bridge is not the only missing link on the long road from Athens or Istanbul to Hamburg. There are still long sections of road and rail to be completed. But it is a huge incentive to finish the route. Nick Thorpe, BBC News, Fidin.